YouTube, it's Zander's TCG here and welcome to another TCG online match. In this video we are gonna check out Tapu Bulu Vika Volt once again but we're adding some twists uh, into the deck because we now have Zerka Tree GX. This is a promo GX that is available in the Ultra Beast Premium Collection boxes. Definitely grab yourself one of these boxes because they do come with great GXs like for example Zerka Tree GX or also Buzzwell GX and uh, Feromosa GX and uh, Celestial GX are uh, featured in boxes like these. Anyhow, Zerka Tree GX has the uh, Flashing head ability resembling of the Aegis slash EX back in the day, which uh, actually states that it cannot get damaged by uh, the opponent's Pokemon that has special energies attached. So things like Gardevoir Jax with a uh, DCE cannot attack us, Zoroark with a DCE cannot attack us. So we're pretty much safe thanks to this awesome card. And there's uh, something else here with this card. It also has Lightning Jax. Uh, we can just look at the opponent's hand, put uh, one card we find there and put it as the opponent's uh, yeah, add it to the opponent's prize cards. And this is really crucial in the uh, early game. So. That's what we're gonna test here today, Zerka Tree GX. We're also running a switch in a deck like this and uh, uh, we also have Guzma. So getting that first turn Lightning GX uh, is not that difficult. It's definitely a lot of fun and it disrupts your opponent like crazy. We're also running a Mew which has free retreat, can easily uh, swap into that uh, Zerka Tree GX uh, in the early phases of the game. Then also, of course, a 3-1 tree, tree line of Vika Volt. Vika Volt is the main heart and soul of the deck. Strong charge, let's just attach one grass energy and one lightning energy from the deck straight into our Pokemon in any way that we like. So, and this stacks, if we have two Vika Volt out, it's crazy. We have uh, seven grass energies and four lightning energies in the deck. Also, in a deck like this, we are running two uh, energy recyclers because we do burn through a lot of energies because Tapu Bulu is our main attacker and Nature's Judgment most of the time will discard all the energies attached and uh, that's the reason that uh, we're running energy recycler to get them back. So, what uh, good does Mew uh, provide to this deck? Well, we can just copy the attacks of all our basic Pokemon in play, in including those uh, great uh, GX moves like Taper Welder's GX or Nature's Judgment, if we want to use them. So, this Mew is awesome because we hit for weakness against Boswell GX, Espeon GX, and more. Also, it get, only gives up one prize card, so Mew is just awesome. We're also running Oranguru just for consistency, having that instruct ability, because sometimes this deck gets end in the late game and we're pretty much screwed. We do have three Tapu Lele and two Bridget, that's our first thing we want to do is use Ultra Ball, Tapu Lele, Bridget, or just uh, Bridget in the opening hand, or Tapu Lele just for Bridget. We want to set up a bunch of Grubbins so we can evolve them later down the line. Also, two Heavy Balls will work out pretty well with uh, Vika Volt because it also has three retreat costs just like Tapu Bulu. All the rest is uh, pretty much standard. We're also having one Hala in this deck because Hala, if we use our GX move already, we can shuffle our hand into our deck and then draw seven cards, which is huge. Uh, only three choice ban. I'm dying actually to put it up to four, but I couldn't find the room for it. But uh, yeah, this is just choice ban here. Only three copies. Uh, well, we're gonna just test this deck out and see how well it uh, performs. Because as you might have noticed, Vika Volt Tapu Bulu is definitely a great deck, a great uh, solid deck choice. Because a lot of things have 210 HP, which we easily one shot. Think about Buzzwell, we one shot with a choice ban. The Zoroark GX, we one shot with a choice ban. Blitzball, we one shot with a uh, choice ban. So a lot of these things one shot. Uh, they also uh, Sil Valley GX, we can just one-shot everything if we have that choice band. We do have at uh, Skyla, so we can just search our deck for a uh, choice band if we happen to have a Tapu Lele in the hand. So Tapu, Bu Tapu Bulu Vika Volt, we're revisiting the deck because it's still one of the contenders that will uh, do quite well at tournaments. Just because Zoroark is just so popular and we one-shot Zoroark while they cannot one-shot us. If they use the attack Righteous Beating on us, we could just use the uh, uh, Tapu uh, Wilderness GX and heal ourselves up, which is awesome. So. Here we have uh, probably a Gardevoir deck, which is kind of troublesome because Gardevoir is diff difficult. We can also play Tapu Koko GX in a deck like this to prevent that. But uh, we do have our Zerka Tree at our disposal and uh, we lost the coin flip as well. So things are not going well and uh, we'll definitely have to struggle a lot here. We have Tapu Bulu as the opening Pokemon, which is great. And we even have Guzma. If the opponent decides to just uh, have a quick run here and uh, just uh, put a Remorate in the active position, things would be awesome because I do, did saw that there was water in his deck. And we have, ta-da, Ulfopix. Damn, I thought this was a Remorate. If this was a Remorate, we could hit for weakness. He has a first turn Bridget, which will probably be a bunch of rolls. Maybe a Remorate could also be the case. Yeah, we do see Remorate. If we top deck, yeah, man, I definitely want to grab ourselves a Grub in here. Hmm, difficult choice. We can grab that KO on the Remory, no problem. But if he uses the attack beacon, we still have an extra turn. We can also end. Heavy Ball can also grab something else. We have Zerka Tree if we want to stall. So maybe the best choice we can end here. The opponent has uh, six cards in the hand. That way we also get uh, 
a bunch of cards. But like Guzma could be interesting here. That way we're already getting one prize card. But the opponent might just grab himself a bunch of Gardevoirs already. So this will be troublesome. He does not have any energies though. Let's just use Heavy Bolt just to have some backup here. With that, we have the backup Tapu Bulu on the bench. If something happens to uh, one of our bench ones, or actually to the active one, we still have an active. Uh, this particular case, I'm gonna end. I don't want to get rid of all those resources already. So we have a Grubbin, which is good, but our hand just sucks. Wow, could you see that, man? Only a Grubbin in the hand. This is gonna be a difficult time here. Horn attack, 430. Not good at all. So the thing we want to see here, if uh, Zerkatry is in the deck, we only... Uh, ah man, I used Heavy Ball. Maybe I should have checked if Zerkatry was in there. Don't show this again, please. We don't. We already know this stuff. So uh, tap, uh, the TCG had a recent update lately, so that's why things are kind of reset. We do see an Ultra Ball. He gets rid of an Octillery, which is interesting. He might just have an Octillery in the hand. Yeah, of course. Or actually, he used Ultra Ball to grab himself the artillery. That what, that's what happened. So and perfect for us because we did have the most garbage hand in the entire world, and now we have something what now we can work with. We have Beacon, whatever. We can definitely grab ourselves a Vika Vault next turn, which is awesome, and uh, we can also maybe check if the uh, Zerkatry is in the deck. Okay, Curlia, whatever. We're not afraid of that. Okay. I think I'm just gonna go for uh, Vika Vol in this case. We can just use uh, Tapu Lele for the Skyla. And Zerkatry is in the deck, which is good. Also, there's an Energy Recycler prize. No, it's in the hand. All three choice bands are here, and uh, all energies are in the deck. So that's the most important thing we want to check out here. Bang, we have Skyla. Skyla will get ourselves the rare candy that we just saw. And we will have ourselves Vikavolt. We can even attach energies to a bench Pokemon. In a case like this, having that Tapu Koko GX would have been a little bit better. We can also have, use the Ultra Ball here. 30 damage was already uh, plenty enough, so... Hmm... Maybe we can just use Strong Charge for a single Grass Energy. Just on Tapu Bulu. For the sake of it. We can also grab one energy onto uh, the Lele here, and this Lele might just one-shot uh, one of those Pokemon. We have a bunch of energies provided here. Okay, 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 okay. We could also use Ultra Ball and get, get in ourselves another Grubbin in play. We also have Guzma. I don't want to get rid of Guzma though. Hmm, difficult choices to make. He has a bunch of cards in his hand though. Maybe the Tapu Lele should have been better for, for an end. But we want that uh, Vika Volt out as soon as possible. Are we gonna get ourselves another Grubbin in play? Or do we keep the Ultra Ball in hand for Lele potentially later down the line? Just gonna go for a Horde attack. We already get one prize card, which is good. And uh, we will see Guard of War coming soon. So we have to be careful here. Because once he has a DCE attached, things will go crazy. Because with that, we can grab ourselves Zerkatry and uh, be a shield for a bunch of turns. So let's see what he already used. No Guzma so far, which is unfortunate. He needs to stack a ton of energies onto his Gardevoir in order to get the one-hit KO. And uh, he does get a Rolls here. Does he get... Yeah, he does get Gardevoir GX in play. Gardevoir GX with infinite force will deal a bazillion damage. He is able to attach a Choice Band. Does he have a DC and a regular energy to follow up with that? Hopefully not, <laughs> otherwise he might get screwed. Hmm, okay, Guzma. He's gonna Guzma out of Vika Volt, fine by us. A Baizo Hand will grab himself one card. So we are stuck with Vika Volt or are we? We saved ourselves the Guzma here, so with Guzma we can just uh, target something on the bench. Okay. We also have Hala at our disposal. This Gardevoir is troublesome, but maybe he's gonna use Acerola. He already used an Acerola. Maybe we can just slap some damage on here or just get rid of the Octillery entirely because facing two Gardevoirs is a little bit trouble. Are we targeting the, tar uh, the Rolls or are we targeting the Octillery? That is the main question of the day. All right, first things first, I'm gonna get rid of a Hala. 
and a sycamore because I don't want to use those. We also have a Mew at our disposal. Mew could be a great thing here. That way he only gets one prize card. We don't have any energies. If we would have gotten an energy, that Zerkatru would be an ideal stall Pokemon. Oranguru is also a nice option here. Mew could actually energy drive, not for a lot of damage. Could KO the Ralst, which is weak to Psychic. But I want to get rid of that artillery, that way we can end him in the late game. And if we want to end him in the late game, maybe grabbing Oranguru is not that bad. We do have it lately for next turn, but he's definitely gonna grab a KO soon enough. So in this particular case, let's just use Vika Volt Strong Charge first. Got a bunch of energies onto our Pokemon here. I'm gonna grab them all to the Tapu Bulu. And I'm actually gonna discard every single energy, so that way the opponent has a really tough time to one-hit KO our Chapu Bulu. While we just uh, demolish him, we can also bench that Lele if we want to, but we're just gonna use Instruct here, getting an extra card. We do have that Grass Energy, which is interesting for next turn. So now, for this particular case, I'm just gonna discard all my energies. I know I want to do that because Gardevoir otherwise eats me up alive. So, boom! There we go. 360 damage, that artillery definitely felt that one. And now we're also in a great position if we want to end late game. Alright. Interesting game here. We also have the Tapu Lele. We can definitely use a Guzman next turn again. We already got through one of us, Acer Wola. Maybe he's running two copies. That's something we don't know yet. But Tapu Bulu definitely showing that it can be aggressive. And in a deck like this, maybe Tapu Coco GX is not too shabby. Maybe that is a little bit better. Okay, Tapu Lele will get the end here. Thank God we got Oranguru out. Oranguru will save us from this horrible end because we have not used a lot of Ultra Ball, only one. So if we get an Ultra Ball, we can draw more cards if we discard some. So that is great. We got an Ultra Ball, we got a Guzma, we got an end, we got a Guzma. Okay, Bridget. Bridget is not necessary in the case like this, so he's gonna attach a bunch of energies, presumably. Infinite Force for 60 damage. Wow, perfect. We can target this Tapu Lele and one hit KO it, but we don't have a choice band. Do we need the choice band though? Okay, we can slap some damage on that Gardevoir as well. Not that that will matter. <laughs> Let's just target that GX, that way we're already grabbing a bunch of prize cards. All right. Let's use the Strong Charge, two of those, let's just see how many ends we have left. We also have Circuitry to be our wall of choice and add a prize card to the opponent. Still have one Gosma left and a bunch of choice bands, of course. Energy goes to, yeah, Tapu Bulu, why not? We want to get this KO, but if he has three Gardevoirs, things will be messy. Let's just attach an energy to, do we attach the energy right now? Maybe. Ultra Ball. Maybe we have some luck and we can grab ourselves. You can copy attacks on the bench. Energy Drive, which is not that good. Zerkatry, on the other hand, is an ideal Pokemon. Tapu Lele is also an ideal Pokemon that can grab anything we might just want. But we also have the Oranguru that we can use. Maybe if we can just put all those energies we still have three left. All those energies on Lele with a choice band, we might just do some weird shenanigans, but then again, Zerkatry is also a lot of fun. What do we pick? I'm gonna pick... I want to keep that Zerkatry as a surprise Pokemon, so for now, I'm just gonna grab a Lele, just for the sake of it. I know something might just die soon, and we are just gonna use Instruct, getting some more cards, boom! Okay, that did not do anything. Uh, Nature Judgment, once again, we are gonna discard all of our energies. If he uses the Lele next turn, we can just target it with our last Guzma and we're good. So he's actually prevented from using any Tapu Lele's at this point. Well, we already got a bunch of those Pokemon cards from the prize cards. So only two more prize cards that we need to take. And if he slaps a bunch of energies onto his uh, Gardevoir, we can just come out of nowhere with a Tapu Lele, which is wonderful. 
Okay, Secret Spring, he needs a bunch of energies. Maybe he can target our Tapu Lele, which could be the case here. Maybe we should not have overstacked those energies on Tapu Lele. Now he's already have enough. Or is he gonna go for the one hit KO here? A bunch of energies on this Cardiform looks pretty, pretty, pretty scary. Wow, one, two, three, four, five. That is a one hit KO, boom. We go down, we go down, okay. We go down. Go Tapu Lele! Maybe we can retreat into Zerka Tree. We have the choice band, that is at least comfortable to know. We can also slap some energies around on the field. And leave our Tapu Lele in the hand. If we have the Tapu Lele right now, we can use it to get the Guzma later. That is cool. So for now, we're just gonna grab the, just bench this Grubbin, use a Heavy Ball, just to grab ourselves a Vika Vault, so that way we don't draw into it. And our last uh, Tapu Lele, Definitely want to get one energy onto, uh, or actually two energies onto Oranguru here, because if we, if he somehow does some crazy shenanigans where he knocks our Vikavold out, we might be in some trouble. Bridget can also something we can just use Bridget for the sake of it. Tapu Lele could have also done an end here in this situation, but we need it for the Guzma. We can bunch circuitry. Oh yeah, we could have used Bridget, attach the energy to circuitry, and add the prize card weight right there. Okay. That might be a little misplay. Let's just check how many Guzmas he'd used so far. Only one. Okay, that would have not done anything. But still, I don't want to bench it. Or do we? We're definitely gonna get a KO here. So benching the Zerk Tree is definitely not bad. He does not get the anything that he can target. So poof, one a bazillion damage, 170. Wow. He only has 60 HP remaining. Oranguru can smack this guy. He needs to KO my Lele. If he does not KO my Lele, I KO his Gardevoir. Maybe he can just swap into another Gardevoir. Could be some trouble here, but he will get the KO. Mine, mark my words. If he does not get the KO, things will already be messy for him. So the good thing is that we got rid of that Octillery. That consistency card is a lot of trouble. And if we got rid of it, uh, we can end in the late game, which is the case here if we manage to get one. All right, maybe we should have slapped with that circuitry, but we couldn't draw into enough energies, which is unfortunate. Maybe we could have just used that GX move, which was already a great way to deal with this uh, kind of shenanigans. He benched his Lele, which is already a great thing. If we have, we can use Tapu Lele, Skyla for the Tapu Lele, and then with that Skyla, we can grab our energy recycler, get a bunch of energies onto play, we're good. He needs to KO us. That's the thing he wants to do or needs to do. He's down, and what to do, what should I do? Should I get rid of the Vika Vault? Should I get, no, oh, this is great. This, he's kind of in a checkmate position if he uh, does not do anything about it. Maybe he's running Max Potions? I did not see any single Max Potion. Max Potion could be a huge deal. But then he's also getting rid of one, two, three, four, a bunch of energy. So he retreats, fine by us. He still needs a lot of energies, still needs two. If he has two energies, we're KO'd. But he does not know that we have a Lele in the hand. Let's just not spoil him with the details here. What does he do? The good thing is that there's still... I think, do you think there's still a Lightning Energy? Nope, there's no Lightning Energy. There's a Grass Energy left in my deck. But we get KO'd regardless. So Tapu Bulu will take the victory here, even though we did not start first. But we got rid of Octillery early game. And Tapu Bulu just smacked some things around with the... Uh, the nature judgment and that uh, discarding the energy is always a must against Gardevoir GX because it's one of the more popular decks. I did not see any max potion, which is unfortunate. That's a little bit uh, troublesome on his list because running it with max potion is so crazy. Okay, we can use something funny here and uh, drag the match on, but we're not gonna do that. Just use the strong charge here. We have the grass energy and the Guzma is still in the deck, so we're gonna target that uh, Gardevoir GX and we're gonna smack him around with an Oranguru like the way it's meant to be here with a Psychic Blast so that will be the game ladies and gentlemen hope you enjoyed I did not show the power of Zerkatry I know but Vika Voltapu Bull is already great as it is definitely check it out if you have not already maybe copy my deck list it's a lot of fun and now we're gonna Psychic for the win here bang a bazillion damage and we win 
Anyways, I hope you enjoyed another TCG online match. If you did, uh, show your support by destroying the like button and uh, let me know how you do with uh, Vika Volt Tapu Bulu. Have you made something different to the list? Do you run Clefairy? Do you run something else? Let me know and I'll be seeing you guys soon enough with TCG, more TCG videos than you can ever imagine. See you guys then. Tomorrow's an episode. Peace out.